the name of the move I was talking about for that spider thing is Silk Trap. Ooh. Uh, I'll show you a Silk Trap. <laughs> Ooh, I'll trap you in my silkiness. This guy, look at him. I love all these dudes that you come across are like bakers and engineers and uh, some students, I guess, but I've I've come across a lot of people that... Um, there was some random one that I, I came across. I was like, who is this? And it was like a, a street tagger or like somebody that had like a patchwork vest and they, I think they were like graffiti artists or something like that too. It was really oh, the, the people with the patch vests? There's them and then I think that was something different because then I found another guy that had just had like spray paint stains on his shirt. He was like, I I'm a graffiti artist. I was like, okay, The people with the fight. patch vests are like Pokemaniacs. And they have their hair like in like little Charizard spikes and shit. It's <laughs> weird. They're like the weird people that post the pictures of themselves in front of the mirror turning into Charizard. Is a streamer? I'm fighting a streamer. Also, yeah, all oh, this. I, of course. I wasn't like annoyed by this, but I was also like, okay, I'm definitely not excited about this. <laughs> I'm going to kick her ass on her own stream. I posted a video in the command center. Mm-hmm. Um... The suit actress who played Baragon in Godzilla vs. Mothra and King Ghidorah All Out Monsters Attack didn't. It's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> she made her own um, kaiju roars inside of the suit while she was acting. Nice. Oh, yeah. And it's the fucking cutest thing in the world. <laughs> it's amazing. Her oh, dedication to. I'm so surprised. Oh my god, what's this? <gasps> You're in a stream. That's a big coat. Yeah, big hair, big coat. Oh, this also, is she has like uh, filed, pointed teeth. Oh, in real life? No, uh, not the act, the suit actress. <laughs> I'm talking about this chick. <laughs> That's fucking dedication. Hello, hello, ciao, bonjour. This uh, Pokemon chick, she's got like pointed teeth. She's got like the the jaws. Why is teeth. she shaking? Oh. Pew pew. Pew pew. Man, <laughs> wouldn't it be wouldn't it be cool if they would like do a Pokemon game that was like, ooh, the Transylvania region, and ooh, there's crap. like fr Frankenstein monsters, and there's fucking there's vampire like. A, there is a, a ghost dog in this game. Yeah, I, that, that'd be so cool. It's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, it turns into <laughs> like a pile of bones too, which is really sad for a dog because it's like <laughs> it just wants to eat itself. <laughs> what if what if there was a Pokemon that you had to evolve it by releasing it, like an like, old Yeller, like or like a last, <laughs> like you know, like I don't want you anymore. Get out of here, you go. Oh, 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 <laughs> and then it like evolves and returns to you, and you're like, okay, I guess now you're good enough. I found a Mastiff. Oh, is he going to be your best friend, little pupper boy? Oh, catch him. He paralyzed me. <laughs> he paralyzed me. <laughs> with his paralyzed love. you with love? Yeah. <laughs> yep. I, I am excited um, for us all to be able to play together. Oh my yeah. god, this guy coming in. I don't I like kind of still don't know how it works. Like, what, <laughs> what we'll are we there. all going to do, but... I'm excited. We're just gonna talk. We'll to figure you. it out. I'm gonna say hi yep. and wave. I, I do want to battle you guys. Like we should, we should all just agree. Like, hey, once we all have like beaten the Elite Four or something, like we should hold a battle between the three of us. Yeah, we should set some kind of benchmark so we're all like around the same spot. Sure. Right. Yeah, we could do like top top one. We could do top three, top six, top five, whatever. Like, pick your favorite What Pokemon. does that mean? Pick one of your favorites, and then you pick three of your favorites, <laughs> and then you pick five of your what? favorites. What? What do you mean? To fight each pick... other. Like, to battle each other. Uh, okay. We could do why, it. why not just do a whole team? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, do team like... on team. I know. Do that, but also the other ones I was saying, so we can fight more in different, yeah, unique ways. Different. Just different teams. That's fine, too. Yeah, whatever. No, do what I say and I'm, shut hey, up. Hey, calmer than you are. <laughs> calmer than you. <laughs> we'll get done with the, uh, you know, what have you. And... <laughs> the dirty, dirty laundry, dude. 
The whites. The whites. <laughs> God damn. Can I name my Pokemon a swear? Will it let me? I don't think it will let you. I I was pretty close can, to one. You can like fudge it. Oh I called my yeah. I called my uh one of my f fire birds, I called instead of Tony Hawk it was Hawker. Like F uh, Hawk er. Name it my my mastiff Lil Fogger. <laughs> I I kind of do want to. <laughs> just, this is how big of a fucking nerd I am. I do kind of want to, like, when I get later in the game, get a full team of six together that do like as close as I can make reflect uh, kaiju from the Godzilla films and name them after them. So I have like a King Ghidorah and a Mothra and have everybody. Yep. Or or at least you know. The ones I can get away with. I'm gonna eventually just have a Cumbelina in its own box. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. So, baby girl, dude. I heard girl. of a new. It's not even necessarily like a Nuzlocke rule. It's just like a new way to think about playing the game, mm -hmm. which sounds really interesting to me. Is is playing the game and um, catching only one of each type. Ah. Uh. I don't know that it necessarily needs to be like the first that you. Oh come on, Tyler! <laughs> I just wanted to poke at that thing. What you the evolved! frick is it? Oh, it's the evolved Magneton. Magneton. Magnezon, dude. It, Magnezon. Get in the zone, dude. Magnezon. Get in the zone. It was Magnezon. angled such a weird way. <laughs> these were so easy. Like I know these are made for children, but look at this. Who's this little shit? That's the uh den the den de de the den de the den de the den the den de yeah the den de he clone yeah the Dennis you see no Pokemon's I think I asked Eric this what maybe maybe I didn't Eric what you guys what's your favorite um race in Dragon Ball besides Saiyan. Oh. I feel like Saiyan is the easiest answer. Oh. <laughs> oh. The uh, you say the, as a, as what's as your a... favorite? Yours is the Saiyan race? Me? What'd you say yours was? No, I didn't say mine. I just said besides oh. Saiyan because I feel like Saiyan's Saiyan. the easiest answer. You know? Mechian. Ooh, okay. Mechians are tight, yeah. I like their style of like, hey, I'm going to absorb you. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It's it's kind of cool how they're like all like when they go to Namek, all the Namekians there are just from the Elder, so they're all, like it. That's cool how it, how it works generationally like that. Yeah, there, there's that's right. an interesting alien race. I like it. I, it has a unique aspect to it. I do like. Ah. I do like the idea of Frieza's race. Like, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, those are cool. I'm just trying to think what else. Pycon was kind of a cool race, whatever it was. Yeah, he was kind of like a multiverse uh, Namekian or something. Mm -hmm. I always felt like. I don't know. Don't fight me. I think, I mean, I, I, I've got to say that mine is probably Namekian as well, because yeah. their, their design is so cool that it's like, are they slugs, are they vegetables, or what are they? They're bugs. Yes. They're little antenna. Yeah, it, I love, I just, I've always liked Piccolo as a character, but now having more context from watching Dragon Ball and like, <laughs> I don't know, I just, there's sometimes where I'm like, Man, he used to be the villain. Like he used to be, dude. All of them used to be. Yeah, but it's li it's a little bit different with with Piccolo because he was. Like, yeah, he was a big the... bad. Yeah, he wasn't just a villain That's... that continued. So is Vegeta, though, right? Yes, kind of. Vegeta was a big, a big bad. He was a big bad, but he was also very quickly kind of just one of the like monsters of the week. Uh, I hate to say that, but. Well, when they got to Namek, he was just the floating variable they had to deal with, right? Don't get me wrong. I think out of the Saiyan characters, like, Vegeta is, like, my second favorite but behind Gohan. Yeah. Because he's, he's got the most to him. He's got the most actual character. 
Like, right. There's there's clear moments where they paint him as still having that pride of being a prince, of feeling better than everybody, but realizing I have to work with other people, or do I need to? I do need to kind of humble myself to to like put others on a pedestal for this moment to be like, hey, you got this. I believe in you. Me, me right. as a prince, I believe in you. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be nice to be able to be like, hey, I've got my Pokemon team. Oh, there's a Rodom. Do you see it? Do you see it? Yeah. Oh, there's Magna Tights? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I see the Rodom. I want to... Magna Tidy is dead? But what if, what if there was just a thing that you could be like, I've made my Pokemon account. I... It can be separate from the video games. I don't even care if they carry over to the video games. I just want to be able to not worry about, like, oh, every time the games come out, I have to create a new team. I, I don't even play competitively, but it could be a way to make competition more casual, you know? Yeah. If you're walking around and you're like, hey, I like Pokemon. You like Pokemon. Do you want to... Hey, I like Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> hey, you, I like Pokemon. That seems like a good crossover too. I like the Tinman. Professor Layton and and Pokemon. <laughs> I like the Wizard of. Hey, Red. Because <laughs> then they could each have their own little like partner to help them do detective work, and and it could add mystery to like, oh, where did this item go? Oh, this Pidgey carried it off. We have to go find it, Luke. That Use your me fucking... of Pokemon. <laughs> It might add a little more variety to the puzzles, too. Like, how many Pikachu are shitting in this bucket? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it knows ghost move time. Yeah, mine is a... This is a ghost fire type. I like that Tyranitar is the only Pokemon with rock uh, dark typing. Tyranitar. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, Flaffy. Flaffy. Uh, I'm gonna switch. Uh, I guess I'll switch. I guess I won't burn everything to I'll death with my I'll fire. Switch. I'm, uh, I'm gonna use my big old Cloud Sire beanbag chair. I'll so switch! Go beanbag chair! If... Hmm. Give me one moment. Mud shot all over you. Yeah, oh, wow. Got any more brain busters? Buster. Buster. My Pokédex has been updated. So what? What is uh, each of your guys' favorite Pokemon? Buff. Oh, I like Lugia. Mewtwo. <laughs> okay, well, maybe like not legendary. Like, I, what what I'm saying is, if uh, I could go out of my way to catch a Pokemon for each of you that is, like, a really good one, what would that be? Cool. I want to gift cool. you. Uh, Which one? be Snorlax. Cool. Lava. Give me a Snorlax. That's a, that's a starter. That's hard to get. Is it though? I could maybe do a Snorlax. Well, yes, Eric. How am I going to get a fucking Quilava? Gadget. In which game? That I can give to you in Scarlet. I think you could catch his Sword and Shield, I think. Quilava? Yeah. I don't know about well, that. Well, uh, Cyndaquil. You can. Okay, what Pokemon can I catch in Scarlet to, <laughs> to give to you? Oh. I don't know, dude. I don't know what's all in here. Well, think about it. Did it, did it. How, how am I supposed to be generous if you don't know what I should give you, God damn it. Yeah. Dude, I don't know. Tis the season <laughs> to be giving me everything. I just yeah. got a fucking Meowth. Tis the season to be a master, all right? To be a champion. I think I jumped around into a space that was a little more advanced than I should be, but I, I figured it out. Hey guys, um, I shouldn't be here. Bye. Did you well, guys everybody's cool have... with it, right? Everybody's like, all right, yeah, see you, buddy. I passed. 
Hey, look at that. Do you guys ever have the To Be A Master album? No, I wouldn't. What's that? That'd be cool. What? What do you mean, what's that? To Be A Master. It's, a, it's, a, it's exactly what it sounds like. What is that? There was, like an a, album. there was an official um, music album released in late 90s, maybe early 2000s, that was uh, Pokemon 2.b.a.master. Okay. And it, and it was like, it it's the called rap Music stuff? from the Hit TV Series. And it's got, yeah, stuff like the Pokemon theme song, the Pokemon rap. Oh, okay. But also versions of songs that maybe are from the games or from the TV show that have had lyrics put to them. Whoa. Interesting. So like the Poké Center? I'm surprised you didn't know about the this. The Poké Center song? <laughs> they just put lyrics to the Poké Center? Or like, well, uh, or like Lavender Town? <laughs> they're not even necessarily from the games, but they're like, oh, here's an entire song of just about going to Viridian City. That's oh, yes, it. yes. They played that in the, the Pokémon movie. Or like, what kind of Pokemon are you? We're are you on the loyal road through and to through? Viridian City. I'm sh I'm sharing this in the command center because I'm genuinely surprised that this is not like a super well known thing right now. No, nothing like you guys should have known this, but I'm like, I I feel like I'm surprised that I know about more about it than you do. Hello, hello, hello. You have sharp teeth. I had the soundtrack to the first movie or whatever. <laughs> that must have been fun. Yeah, I remember I had, like, that. Britney Spears on it and it had, shit. It had a ton of people. What? Yeah. What? Were they Pokemon themed? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Britney I mean, like, Spears talking about she, she wasn't singing about specific Pokemon and shit. It was just a generally themed song, but it was for that movie. Yeah, but I still need to, like, research this. Called like soda pop or some shit. Soda pop, yeah, you can feed that to your Pokemon. <laughs> I want to drink yep. soda pop with my chance. No, it's <laughs> not like uh... with Mister Mime. <laughs> with lick a tongue. Ninety-eight degrees. <laughs> yeah, I like yep, girls who wear Abercrombie and Pikachu. No, that's uh LFO. That's yeah, that's LFO. Oh my god. So, Read bug. Billy Piper. Oh, Billy Piper? Yeah. That's that's uh Rose from uh Doctor Who. Well, she's saying um Rose making Tyler. my way any way that I can. Aww. Track number twelve on the Pokemon the first movie soundtrack. Making my way down the town. Making my way to Goldenrod. <laughs> Gonna play in that game casino. Rocket. Gonna play in the game corner. <laughs> you know, I always wanted a Drutini, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should make our own Pokemon songs. God, dude, we should make our own anything. We'd be so good at it. We would be. We would do. We would do. What we're doing right now. We do, but we are using somebody else's, um, you know, content as our, yeah. like, springboard, kind of. A belly bot? Right the fuck's a shrewdle? Yeah. Oh, I think this is the, I think this is the evolution of that tadpole rod show. What, 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 what is, is a, what is a what? What Tyler's about to fight. What did you just Shrewdle. Shrewdle. <gasps> It's the little poison mouse boy. Yeah, it's poison mouse. Oh, okay. He's, he's so cute. I'll catch him. Yeah, this he's is a mouse. Belly bolt. Yeah, this is the big dude. <laughs> he's a big. Oh boy. hell yeah, dude! Shit. I saw that boy. I know that boy. <laughs> that boy's dead. Yeah, that's. The I've, I've fought one. this thing, but I forgot about it. He looks like a character from something. What is it? Uh, Good question. Look, he looks like an. Oh, Gala Gala Island. Kinda, yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah, kinda it's very Binya Binya esque. Binya Binya Bollywog. Smile. Back. 
I like how its nose looks like a smiley face. Oh wait, Tyler, have yeah. you have you fought any of the Titans yet? Those are his eyes, my god. Yeah, his eyes are in the middle of his face, not on the side. That's freaking me out. Yeah. It's like the freaking <laughs> thought... Basilisk from Dark Souls. I know, I thought it was his nose at first, but I'm like, wait, no, those are his eyes. <laughs> Belly Bolt, that's a great name for him. Bloop. Just big belly boy Pokemon, that's what I'm gonna get. Look at the advertisements in the background with the starters. Oh, sure. And the shoes. That's amazing. Fruit Loops? Oh! <laughs> Are, oh my gosh, hold on a second. In the advertisements, you're seeing the second stage evolution for the water and the fire starters, but not for the grass. Is that because you maybe have not seen the grass second starter yet? So the game is like holding that back? Um. Hmm. I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. I don't know. There's just the grass. Yeah, cat. I you see that? That's not that's not um, Florogato. That's uh, Sprigatito. Sprigatito. That's true. Sprigatiti, dude. <laughs> Miss Maggie is. Oh news. It's a witch. Much shot that witch. Oh, you're gonna turn it into Terrasalasasas. We're gonna Terrasalasas. Out of anything that they've done previously, I think that I would have liked to see if they had just kept kept doing um, Mega Evolutions and just carried that forward, like each generation. Maybe like 15 to 20 po Pokemon that already exist, or maybe new Pokemon, get Mega Evolutions, and we just add that to the list. I love when people start chanting, la la la, la 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 la. I don't. I think it's <laughs> I wish kind it... of silly. It is silly. It's stupid. It made sense in the old one where it was like a, uh, or in Sword and Shield when it was like a, a, a sports stadium, but I, I, I miss the like, intense fucking music from like sword and or uh red and blue or golden silver or something like that where it was like this is a gym battle motherfucker like stuff's on the line i hope the elite four is not like this i hope there's not people like <laughs> i hope there's Snap intense music it. that makes me feel the, the stakes in the moment oh, okay. Okay. i'm bringing out my uh your yeah, ground type's not gonna work, sorry. Uh, uh, Did you guys keep it down? I'm trying to focus. It's like everybody you, around here is yelling. Hush. <laughs> the, you turn to the choir of children next to you, you're like, please, just stop. Just shut up, please. I'd, I'd like to finish this battle and then continue with your chanting, that's fine. Stop hexing me. Oh my god, it killed hey. my... Yeah. Well, yeah, it's super effective. It is. <clears throat> it's catchy. How do... I mean, it's fine. It's totally fine. I just... My preference would be um, a, a bit more of a score than just chanting like that. I would bring out Omer. How, how do each of you go about building your team? Like, what what are the factors that you kind of weigh when you put that together? Um, I don't know. Sometimes it really depends. Sometimes I'll have one just because it's a certain type, or I try to have one of you know many different types. But then sometimes I'll just. Uh, I, I just want a, like a frog team or a <laughs> dog team, yeah. you know. I like that. What about you, Tyler? When I go into making my team, um, I go from what like past experience on which ones I like because Ampharos is definitely one that was a huge one in Gold and Silver when I play that because I was like, I was probably more obsessed with Gold and Silver than I was with Red and Blue. Sure. Um, and Ampharos was on my team and I just loved it. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. There was just something about it, and then it kind of just stuck. Whenever there was Ampharos, I'd, I'd add it in some way. 
Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, other than that, it's just like, what, what, what's new that the game is like featuring the features of it and like how you uh, implement the items that can be held and mm -hmm. yeah, just a, a ton of different factors. Um, I think that's a good way to, to go about it. I don't typically try and incorporate for my final team. I don't try and incorporate new stuff, but I think that's a fun thing to do. And then, yeah, it's kind of like Broadshow saying, like, I kind of like to focus around a theme and just ones that at the time are interesting. Because I, I, I honestly don't even know if I like Bitbot Gizmo as part of my team, but it's, they're there. They're cute. There's When they throw them out there, it's just like a big old mouse family attacking people and shooting bullets at people. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, yeah, dude. Hey, I got a gym badge. All right. Oh, yes. I like to, okay. at least when I'm thinking about like my team that I want to kind of carry to the end, I like there. to That's think really about good. type coverage first. Yeah, a good overall like type uh, baseline of like, hey, I got electric, I got grass, I got fire, I got water. Yeah, I hate I hate feeling. I hate feeling panicked when like they throw something out that I'm not prepared for. Mm -hmm. So I try to I try to have a pretty wide type coverage, um, and then past that, it's just like, what are my favorites that maybe I want to find a spot on the team for and then build around that. Or if I'm just playing through the game, I'll throw whatever uh, is most recent on my team or stuff that I want to see what the evolution is. Yeah, that's another thing. I'll like a Pokemon and then the evolution sucks. I'm like, what is <laughs> yep. this? It is kind of fun, like, once you've reached the end of the game to go back and just fill your team up with little babies and, like, evolve them up again and <laughs> keep, just keep do, doing that. Just do normal Pokemon, just strictly I have all normal Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, no, look at this big hair. Look at this sp Splatoon character. Yeah. You look like an oil slick. <laughs> I want to look like an oil slick. You look like an oil slick. Did you put that? Did you put you that? Uh, down? Don't tell him to sleep behind you. You poisoning people. It's not your game. No. Uh, no. No, thank you. Just okay. keep saying no. Yep, bye. Nice to meet you. See you later. I get why they're like, there's no wrong answers to anything. I know. But I've, I've been kind of also... like dismissive of every question. And like, yeah, do you want to do this? I guess maybe. It doesn't maybe. matter what the fuck you answer because nothing's wrong. And they're like, you want to be champion, right? And I'm like, I, not really. Eh. No. <laughs> Are you interested in doing this? Okay, I don't know. What do they do about What's people your that never finish their treasure hunt? They're like, I, they're never like, I found my treasure. It's like, all right, you're in school for 50 years. Bye. Nice to meet you. Question mark, lady. <laughs> Woohoo! We did it, boys. We killed the uh, Ione. What's her name? Iono. Iono. Like that. I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's good, Eric. Uh. Um, so we'll um, be back with more Pokénauts. Hope you guys are enjoying us talk about Pokémon and what have you. Um, we'll go continue on our way through the world of Paldea. Paldea. And we'll, uh, yeah, hopefully soon get my boys Wingo. in here. Wingo and Tribal Dream. Finally. Tribal Dream. Wingo and Wing. A few friends along the way. And we're going to catch up in Pokémon. What he said. <laughs>